You may find the new revamped version of Furby creepy, but I say that thing's got potential. <laughs> I said thing because I don't know what creature it is. It's probably the Furby species. Anyway, uh, there's a group called Open Source Furby uh, based in Poland that they are working on um, making more of a human robot interaction mm -hmm. uh, capability with these, uh, you know, they're essentially they're toys, but they're essentially little consumer ready robots. Let's take a look at what they can program it to do. Likes on Facebook. Thanks. <laughs> so that Furby in particular was programmed to uh, let the user know when they had gotten a certain number of likes via Facebook. Of course, it's using the OLED eyes. Um, right now, I was looking at the eyes that they have, pro or this particular person has programmable, and Facebook's logo was one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are a lot of other eyes. There's uh, angry, happy. They were talking red, about green. weather forecasts as well, using the eye screens, uh, the the OLED screens as uh, weather forecast indicators. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, the things that they have done mechanically, what they've done to the Furby, is they have replaced the flash control with. They've replaced the internal system with a flash controller that controls mm. the robot operating system. And they have, summing it up, it's almost like putting a Raspberry Pi with a Furby. That's how I kind, kind of, of interpreted it. Yeah, I mean, we, there's a lot of, there's there's different Arduinos in there. There's um, a microphone, and ampli amplifier, there's audio codec, uh, there's a DC motor. There's a lot of things that are in there that can be controlled for different uses than we've already had it for, which is essentially a little doll. Just being a little creepy doll that you don't know what to do with. I don't I think it's creepy. You don't? You probably loved the Tamagotchi and all those I, toys too, right? Tamagotchis aren't creepy. No, they're not. They're not as creepy, but they're I had the a same Teddy spin as a kid, though. <laughs> I think this is great. I think these coders uh, taking something that most of the 90s children grew up with mm -hmm. and modifying it enough and open sourcing it so that anybody can come in and learn about robotics and learn mm -hmm. about coding just as a learning mechanism for, as a tool, is yeah. fascinating to me. For sure. Um, I was trying to think of the different things that I would do. Uh, what would with you my do? Furby. I think I would, you know how we have the uh, personal assistant, the Alexa personal assistant? Mm -hmm. I would like my Furby to be my personal assistant. And mm -hmm. I would say, hey, Furby, why don't you uh, order something off Amazon for me? <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's, you could also maybe make a game. Um, it has different sensors, uh, mm -hmm. specifically voice sensors. Um, someone, uh, please check out the Open Furby Projects page. Uh, they have a lot of videos. Um, one of them was a touch sensor Furby that reacted in different ways to human touch. Um, it shows different ways of uh, methods of programming them, connecting them to a computer to show different uh, potential for movements and what you could do with that. I, I think you could use it for quite a bit. I mean, it's, it's repurposing something that was meant as a toy, but I, I like the way that they've shown this. I'm, I'm surprised that Hasbro hasn't gotten in touch with these coders yet and either, I mean, shut them, them down for, yeah, or shut them down or encouraged them. it yeah. or brought it into, you know, the company as part of their new line of programmable, like open source Furbies. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be something that's very interesting. And I think that that's where the toy industry is headed anyway. Mm -hmm. Right now they are making toys so that you can learn how to code when you're five. And they have uh, toys that are, have a lot of robotic uh, implements and implementations mm -hmm. with them and uh, would be able to respond to people or children more specifically. Uh, you know, for specifically there's, uh, there's Barbie that can understand you and mm -hmm. there's, uh, I, that's a different story altogether. But I'm just <laughs> saying that is the trend of the toy industry right now so far. And I really like where it's going and mm -hmm. applying it in different ways to suit your needs. Um, until there's uh, a Raspberry Pi brand consumer ready robot, you've got Furby. Audience, what would you program your Furby to do? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.